In this video, I'm going to be going over all of the new map changes in the Center Ascendant. I'm going to be comparing them to Ark Survival Evolved. Anyway, let's get into it. The first new map change is this area here. As you can see in Ark Survival Evolved, there's pretty much nothing here. It's just the middle of the ocean. There's a brand new rock formation here in Ark Survival Ascendant. There's huge rocks coming up with some forests on them. Could be a pretty cool build spot as well. There was like pretty much nothing there before, so it's good to see there's some improvements there. And number two is there's been a giant land bridge added. As you can see, between these two islands, there's nothing here, but they added this huge land bridge so you can get across without needing to swim or get a raft or some sort of water creature. There's just a lot more rocks and there's a pretty large path as you can see. I don't know if it kind of looks a little bit out of place, but I'm not sure exactly. Maybe I'll get used to it, but it is kind of nice. You can get there now, which is by the land bridge. Number three is the volcanic biome. And this place has been completely changed. It's now not really a volcanic biome anymore. It's more of like a half jungle, half lava area. And I feel like it's kind of weird. I mean, it looks cool as its own standalone biome, but I feel like the old volcanic biome before felt a lot cooler i mean the terrain is obviously really cool with these giant overhangs and stuff i'm not saying that's bad but it is more of like a giant jungle now than a volcanic biome the lava does look a lot better and there's also these like other things they added like the basalt pillars from scorched earth they added which i think is a nice detail to have because they didn't have that before but now they do as well but definitely make sure to let me know what you guys think of the new jungle volcanic biome because it's a lot different Number four is this other island, the one that was like half volcano, half normal one, has now been changed to pretty much just a giant jungle island. It's a lot taller and it looks like a completely different island. It's pretty much unrecognizable because I feel like that other island was quite iconic, but of course it's not the same anymore. As well as the area in between the volcanic biome and that island has now been changed. There's now a bunch of rocks poking out. They don't really connect, but it looks like they're very close now with all of the different rock formations poking out now. And number five is the little like spike island. The island itself didn't change, but as you could see, they added a huge new island to the left of it, and it's mainly just giant and really tall. It kind of reminds me of the islands from Genesis Part 1 in the ocean biome, but you can't really get to it if you don't have a flyer to get there. And number six is Batman Island or Skull Island, whatever you call it. This one's been completely changed, as now it actually looks like a skull, and it looks really cool. It honestly reminds me of like a pirate island type thing. The thing is you can't go inside of it anymore there's not like any lava inside of it anymore you can go inside of his little eyeballs there's ruins in there and there's also these pots you can walk through but honestly i think it looks a lot cooler it just sucks you can't go inside of it though there is like a little waterfall coming out of his mouth which i think is a nice little detail as well like i said it looks better but it sucks you can't go inside of it and number seven is the boss arena or this giant village has been completely replaced with this uh coliseum or arena type thing and i'm not really sure how about i feel about this one i do like this arena don't get me wrong i think it looks pretty cool especially from the inside here with like all the foliage looking at here with the giant statue and all of that it's a cool looking arena but compared to the old one i feel like the old one was really cool and everyone liked this arena i think everyone was excited to see what it was going to look like in the center ascended with the whole remaster but instead we didn't get that at all i guess we'll never see what that looks like we do get this arena instead like i said i do like it i just kind of wish we could have got to see the old one as well i'm assuming that one of the reasons they did this probably is so you can't cheat the boss fight by bringing because the boss fight has two bosses the broodmiller and megapithecus before you could basically like lead one over and fight them one at a time now you can't do that which you can do or now you can't do yeah, there's also water in this arena too so you could use like spinos and stuff in here which would actually be kind of fun number eight is a new cave or tunnel in this part of the map as you can see there's pretty much absolutely nothing it's just a giant cliff face but now there's actually a little bit of land you can stand on with some trees and there's an entrance to a little cave right there or a giant tunnel it leads all the way back up to the other side and it's absolutely a super long tunnel it's got these cool crystals in there and these these kind of paths that go out that you can see under the waterfall i think is a nice little detail but it kind of just keeps going it's a really long tunnel but once you do you come out the other side of that cliff face there and then you can go up into that huge giant cave area. And number nine is this pathway right here. This pathway in Ark Survival Evolved has actually been completely removed, as you can see right here. It is gone. I'm not sure why they decided to remove this random pathway. They added more pathways in other areas, so I don't know why they specifically just decided to remove this one, as I don't think anyone was complaining about it, but I guess that pathway is gone and you can't go down it anymore. This next one's a bit of a smaller one, but this random area in this corner right here has been changed completely to now it's basically full of ice and snow, which doesn't make much sense that it has snow on it because it's completely covered by a cave. So I don't think it can snow indoors. Maybe there's some reason for that, but it's also got these giant crystals in here. It just looks a lot cooler. 
and it's just a little improvement to this tiny little area. And number 11 is the map surroundings. Before it was kind of just a gigantic infinite ocean that went out forever. And now they added a ton of islands and stuff around the area. And they look really cool. And honestly, they look like really unique parts of the map, but you can't go to them. I'm using ghost mode to be able to fly over here. And honestly, these areas look completely different to the rest of the map. And the terrain looks really unique. Nothing like we've seen in an arc map before. I feel like it'd be kind of fun to explore these areas in game. So I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense they didn't make this part of the map, but kind of makes me wish you could go over to these areas because they do actually look pretty cool and pretty fun to mess around in even though it's not that big it would have been kind of cool to have some more areas to explore around the map either way it does make the map feel a bit better having this area on the outside instead of it just being infinite ocean and number 12 is the floating island like river that comes out of the front of it this is what it looked like before it was kind of just a slope coming down and now it's like a giant waterfall with a path on the left and then it turns into a river at the bottom so it looks quite a bit different. Here's another shot of it in Ark Survival Evolved, and then this is in Ark Survival Ascent. It looks a lot different. I think the waterfall kind of makes more sense though. I don't know. I think I do like this change. It's very small, so it's not really a big deal, but so thought I'd mention it. Number 13 is this waterfall right here, the waterfall on like the left side of the like end of the map. And as you can see, they added a ton more rock formations before it was just that plain waterfall. There's huge rocks on it now. Kind of a not huge change i mean it is quite big but you can't really explore much of those rocks because of how tall they are and how steep the terrain is but it's still a nice little change and number 14 is a really small one but it is a map change i did notice and this right here is just this random spot in the ocean now it has a giant rock coming out of it and there's like a little flat spot and it has a little water in it but maybe you could build something out here i don't really know and number 15 is the rivers. Before the rivers were like these kind of streams and they kind of looked out of place and weird in my opinion, but they've changed it to now they're basically like steps with waterfalls and then it's kind of like flat and then it goes down to a waterfall. So instead of it sloping all the way down, it's like waterfalls that go all the way down here. This is what it looks like at the bottom on Ark Survival Evolved. So here a weird kind of stream right here. And then as you can see, this is what it looks like with the waterfall coming through. I think this looks a lot better. I've always thought those rivers looked out of place, but now I think they fit in perfectly now. Number 16 is a, another random one. This one's actually by the Skull Island. This area right here, as you can see, there's just a tiny few rocks poking out in Ark Survival Evolved, but if we move to Ark Ascended, there's these gigantic rock pillars or rock formations here, very similar to the Genesis Part 1 ones in the ocean biome, kind of like that other one we talked about in the video, which is pretty close to this spot, but it's a pretty cool change. Number 17 is this cliff edge right here. Another cliff edge with absolutely nothing there in Arc Survival Evolved, but in Arc Ascended, there's actually this kind of really flat plateau area. You could probably build some link up here and it would be kind of cool, even though all the resources and pretty much everything is far away from you, but it's still cool that this area is here. But that is all of the map changes in this video. Make sure to leave a comment. And let me know what you think of these new map changes that have been added. Make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye.